Germany has announced plans this week to accept more than 1,500 migrants following the fire at a detention centre on the Greek island of Lesbos, which left thousands without refuge. Uh, the tragedy was a reminder of the scale of a crisis which has seen vast movements of people fleeing war and poverty. Five years ago, at the height of the migrant crisis, the BBC's Fergal Keane brought us the remarkable story of Nujin Mustafa, a Syrian refugee who had crossed Europe in a wheelchair. And Fergal has been talking to Nujin again to see how her life has changed. Whatever happened to Nujin Mustafa? An extraordinary teenager in a tumultuous time. I have to be an astronaut to go out and see and find an alien. <laughs> yes, I want to meet the Queen. <laughs> yes. Born with cerebral palsy, Nujin escaped war in Syria's Aleppo and travelled 1,400 kilometres to reach the Greek island of Lesbos. When I met her on the Hungarian border in 2015, surrounded by other refugees, Nujin was exhausted but irrepressible. A girl who'd learned English by watching soap operas. You should fight to get what you want in this world, so... Yes, it's a journey for a new life. Hungary shut its doors to them. So Nujin and her sister Nazreen pushed on across the Balkans to a detention camp in Slovenia, where I found her at her lowest ebb. Nujin, do you know where you're going? I don't know. I'm lost here. Five years on, I'm on my way to meet Nujin in the German city of Cologne. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, dear. I wish I could hug you, but I can't. Oh, my God. All this social distancing. Memories flooded back oh. on that border all those years ago. It was at that moment and that, that day where the magnitude of, you know, the whole situation just hit me. Germany welcomed a child who'd experienced prejudice because of her disability in Syria, even if some dreams have been deferred. Um, I definitely still want to meet the Queen um, and I definitely still want to be an astronaut. But, you know, since I've, since I've been enrolled in school, I found out that, I was, that I'm absolutely terrible at math. So, well, I might have to resort to Plan B. The experiences of the refugee road define Nujin's life. To help the victims of war and hunger, she's studying to become a psychologist. And she's become a prominent campaigner for disabled refugees, even addressing the UN. People with disabilities were forgotten in times of peace. What do you think we expect in times of war? Me, how is this? Her cause could not be more urgent. On Lesbos, where Najin first reached Europe, thousands have been left homeless after the Moria refugee camp burned down. Hello. Her own parents are still marooned in Turkey. A weekly video call unites those who've made it to Germany and those still waiting. Mm. I guess the part that breaks my heart the most is that they don't get to see my life here, so they don't get to see me go to school and have, you know, I have a productive life and see me moving forward with my future. But that may change soon, Nujin hopes, so that her parents can see the life she's building with courage and grace. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Cologne. <laughs>